Hello, it's Chris here. I've recently upgraded to Luminar AI, although I've still kept Luminar 4 on my computer in case I want to go back to it. And I've been playing with Luminar AI and been thinking about the many comments and articles written about Skylum removing the layer facility from AI. There is, of course, something of a history to this. In Luminar Flex and Luminar 3, you could apply any of the tools as, as many times as you want to a single image. When Luminar 4 came out, you could only apply those tools once to an image. But of course, you could, add, you could then add adjustment layers and apply the tools again to each adjustment layer. So you could apply them as, off, as many times as you had adjustment layers. And of course, mask off to particular areas of the image you wanted the adjustment to relate to. But with Luminar AI, they've removed the layer facility, but you can still only apply the tools once to an image. Skylum have suggested that the basic local masking feature is a substitute for layers. Well, I suppose it is sort of, but you're limited to the tools that can be applied via basic local masking i.e. basically those in the light filter plus structure, saturation and vibrance. The other limitation of course is that unlike in Luminar 4 where you could have a large number of adjustment layers, in Luminar AI you're limited to 10 basic local masks. But having played around with Luminar AI I think I've come up with a technique which will expand the range tools you can apply in a layer-like fashion. It involves the texture local mask rather than the basic local mask. And this expands the range of tools you can use, i.e. With, with the texture local mask you can change the opacity, you can use blend modes and you can use the hue control to shift colours. But bear in mind, as with basic local masking, you're limited to 10 textures, or more accurately, the total of textures plus basic local masks cannot exceed 10. The other thing to bear in mind is the main tools of Luminar AI do not work on any textures, nor do the basic local masking tools. I can demonstrate this here for you. So we'll take this image into edit. We'll add a texture and the key to that technique is to load the original image as a texture. Defaults to 50 so we'll up that to 100 and now we'll add a gradient mask. Make it, make it less feathered. So now only this side on the right is showing through. So we're now going to the main tools and let's say convert to black and white. And you can see it's the underlying image, but it doesn't affect the uh, texture. Similarly with basic local masking, let's reduce the exposure. Again, it only applies the original image, not the texture. So let me show an example of this technique. What we want to do is convert this photo into something like that. So we go back to the catalogue, go into edit mode, and first of all we'll just do a few tweaks to the main image. Accent AI. Well, Warm it up a bit, a bit of smart contrast. Then in colour, we'll reduce the saturation and the vibrance to something like that. So now we'll go and add a texture, load texture, load the original image as a texture, increase the opacity to 100%. Then in here, we'll go in and We'll create our red leaf. There we go. And then we just use the 
reduce the feathering a bit then we'll paint on the mask we'll make the uh, size somewhat smaller and then we'll paint in using the bracket keys to control the size of the brush okay a bit rough and ready but makes the point we'll just get rid of some of this excess around there okay so that's that one so now we'll add another texture load texture original image 100% advanced settings and now we'll create a blue leaf okay paint on that near enough for the current purposes and then we'll add one more texture load texture original image 100% advanced settings now now we'll go in and we'll use a blend mode let's say what shall we use I think probably multiply is best reduce the brightness a bit contrast saturation we'll leave the hue as it is paint it in the leaves and then finally we'll add one final texture load texture original image 100% go back into the hue and we'll convert the flowers to green there we go paint on the mask a little smaller get these edges like there we go so that's looking roughly like the uh, image I set out to create as you can see not absolutely identical but uh, near enough so that's the technique um, hopefully you found this useful in certain cases it may enable you to use layer-like facilities on additional tools compared to what's available in the local masking tool. If there's anything else you'd like me to work on on Luminar 4 and play around with, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching.